preparing for MMA as we take you back up to our ring announcer, the incomparable Dean Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, from the BOK Center, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's time now for our first semi-final bout of our one-night elimination tournament. Scheduled for three rounds, your referee in charge of the action, Don Turnage. Introducing first, in our blue corner, standing five feet, 11 inches tall, official weight, 170 pounds. This American top team Atlanta fighter now has a professional record of 17 victories with nine defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, again from Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, welcome back, Juan Jucau Canero. His opponent across our cage in the red corner stands also at 5 feet 11 inches tall. Official weight 169 and 1 half pounds. This Thunder Kick and Triton Fighter has a professional record now of 12 victories with two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, returning to the cage from Tulsa, Oklahoma, presenting Trey. That just happened. Houston. Once again, your referee in charge of the semifinal bout, Don Turnage, for the final instructions. All right, gentlemen, here we go one more time, okay? Three things you must do. Fight when say fight. Stop when say stop. Most importantly, intelligent. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves, back it, and good luck. Let's take a look at the tail of the tail of the tape, if you will. Yeah, let's take a look here. I think it's going to... Or maybe not. Well, yeah, that's the thing with live TV. You never want to call your shots ahead of time. Let's just go back to the fight. Okay. I agree. Big money fight. Semi-final. First one of two. Four men left in this tournament. We mentioned earlier that uh, young Trey Houston broke his neck two and a half years ago in a swimming accident uh, and didn't realize he had broken it until he felt a little discomfort while he was training for MMA and just went to the doctor and he discovered his neck was broken. Now this is going to be a very telling moment. Okay, Honan's got his back. They're on their feet. It's not likely to finish here unless he can drag him to the ground. This is not where you want to be. Uh, with Honan, and that is on the bottom and early. The relevance to early when you don't have a good sweat going, you're much more susceptible uh, to submission holds. And, and the, reason for that, the reason for that is that you're not a slippery. You're not a slippery. You're not able to pull yourself out. Honan with some very good ground and power. One thing that he does a good job of, JR, is he lifts his chest up. When he's able to get elevation, straighten his chest up, get distance from their two heads, that's when the big powerful strikes are able to come down. Now he closes that distance, brings his chest and head a little bit closer, and goes back to smothering him. This is the same position Trey was in earlier when he was able to swing into an armbar attempt. That is very unlikely against our Brazilian jiu-jitsu master in Honan. 14 years in the business is the, the Brazilian. Now happily living in Atlanta, Georgia. Interesting uh, folks here tonight. Kenny Mundy, one of the greatest amateurs of all time at Cade side. Johnny Hendricks is here. The big ring. Got a big fight coming up. A UFC pay-per-view for the Oklahoma native. Now, hold on. As he's doing a couple of strikes here, going to the body, going to the head. He's not looking to finish with ground and pound, and not le at least not with these shots. What he's looking for is a reaction from his opponent so that he can pass and advance his submission game. Well, Chael, uh, Houston what, what, did get a little business done on the, from the bottom with a couple of shots. Obviously, they, they didn't change the course of time but he's showing us that he's staying in the hunt. He's not giving up. He came out with a little pep in his step in this fight. He was stalking his opponent early on, and he's still a very game fighter on the bottom. As far as skills go, he's outmatched here, but he's far from conceding. Now, as Hoan begins to advance these positions, right now there's some leg entanglement. If he can get his legs 
to the outside, which it appears he's done. He's now in what we call the full mount position, full where mount. he's sitting on top of his opponent's chest. Right here, the options are endless in terms of sitting up and raining down strikes or to begin to look for submissions. A very common thing we see from this position is for the bottom man. For Trey and Houston. How do, you, how do you get out of it? Trey, what do you do? Well, Trey Houston, one option that you'll see a lot of is he'll actually roll over. He'll go to his belly with a hope to stand up. However, if you give up your back, you're also susceptible to a lot of finish holds. So from this position, he's hanging in. He's hoping that Honan stays tight like this, doesn't sit up and begin to elbow or strike him uh, in the head, chest, or face. And right now, he just hopes that the clock is on his side. He's in a very bad position. What Honan wants to do is he wants to pass one of these elbows by. He wants to try to get his head or get his ear to the tricep of Trey and use his own arm to begin to choke him out. Trey holding on here, doing a pretty good job on bottom of bucking his hips and off balancing the top man. Again, uh, the man on top, Honan wants to extend his body, arch his back and then uh, rain down those punches in the ground and pound uh, traditional format. But it, right now, quite frankly, uh, Houston's getting a break because the two men are body to body. Here's his hole on nose. He's got just over 30 seconds. It appears that he is gonna go for one attempt here, one big spurt to possibly be able to stop this fight, he was complaining of some dehydration earlier on. And as the fight goes on longer, I don't know that it's tremendously at his disadvantage, but it is something he'd like to avoid. We hear the 10 second clock, and you know what? Trey Houston, not for nothing, he did a good job of protecting himself on bottom. He intelligently defended himself. He stayed out of all threats of submissions and he, and he wasn't pounded out. He, he weathered the storm, as they say. In a first round that was obviously won by Honan. First of three rounds scheduled in this first semifinal matchup. The winner of this match will move obviously into the finals and will compete for $50,000 uh, here tonight. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, textbook on how you get in the full mount. What we've got right here is he's already got one leg passed, but he's still got his right leg entangled. He simply pushes down on the knee, builds a little bit of space, slides it through. As soon as he slides it through, he clamps his knees and heels together so he can maintain this position. And he was able to stay here for about three minutes. And the damage was done there, and a little burst of damage uh, at the end of the fight, or end of the round, I should say. But I, again, as you said, Shale, uh, young Trey.